what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel man i hope y'all are out there having a good day in last video we finished life is strange true colors the original story and man that was this was by far the best game that they came out with in my opinion but you know life is strange and life is strange before the storm is uh, being remastered and i think it's coming out in february or something i don't know so maybe there's just some recency bias with this here true colors but until i replay those two because this one's definitely better than life is strange 2 but until i replay the first one in that one and uh, before the storm this one is forever well at least for right now the best one that they've made this was such a good game with a crazy twist if you have not seen how it ended just watch the um, um the last video i put up on uh on this game but other than that we are about to play steph's story as you can see right there steph's story i don't know how long it's gonna be hopefully it's good but without any further ado man let's get into it thank y'all for watching let's go So I did save Arcadia Bay when I played the first one. I do remember that one. Because I remember that. If you ain't watched it, I don't want to. If you ain't played it, I don't want to spoil it for you. But I did save Arcadia Bay. So, But what does that matter? What does that have to do with Steph's story? Are they about to link those two together? Oh, snap. Here we go. Here we go. Of course. Of course, there's a mixer right there when Steph start. When you start Steph's story. Got the mic. Wait. Oh, she's still in a uh, haven right now. Isn't that her? Yeah, that was her little uh, boot in haven. I think. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So we are in haven at the moment. Steph. Uh, can... To leave with Steph. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Ha! 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 Oh, God. Yeah, totally. Your friend yeah. did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Hyping you up? Being Gabe, right. Gabe! Well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Shut up like now, that. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the <clears throat> record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Hmm, yeah, why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... Get over a breakup? Do something cool or step back a little. Uh, do something cool? You know, do something cool. Something mm. I can really get into. Like DJing for a cute little station. Be me again. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. The manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. All right. Let's do this. Got a little bobblehead here. Want a bobble? Let's bobble Are the bobblehead. Are you the Haven High mascot? Uh, got the phone. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Young ass. Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. They go to the task list. Let's do this. Great. Here's the list. 
Uh, Steph, welcome to your first shift. Sorry I can't be there. Here are the basics. Introduce yourself. Use a computer to play the audio DJ. Read all ads on air. Ad copy is on the desk. It's very unlikely, but some folk might call in. This probably goes without saying, but if someone calls, answer. Good luck, Beatrice. <laughs> answer. Okay, let's get out of here. Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. Let's do this. Need to turn this on first. Microphone's on. Let's introduce yourself. What's up, Kind Haven listeners? Steph here. Obviously, we're the music ma uh, maestro. No, let's just say the new DJ. Your new DJ at KRCT? Live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you. So uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music. So next up, check out the playlist. Uh, I can't turn the lamp on now? OK. Oh, that's effed up. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. Who cares, bro? Let's back it up. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. The weather? Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too? I don't want to turn the uh, lamp on. Listen. Get out of here. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, let's read off these stupid ads. I don't play the game to go to work. Like, what the hell? Uh, the Black Lantern. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors. The Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... A bitch-ass owner. The historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right, nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Absurdly spicy jalapeno poppers. Only the strongest of stomach dare attempt to conquer Jed's signature app. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. I thought we was reading ads though. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their licensed experts. These people are like career Sherpas, helping you scale the mountain of your dreams. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche Ice Cream in downtown Haven Springs. 
the variety of flavors they've got is going to blow your freaking mind. Really? You think I'm kidding? These guys have, and I hope you're sitting down, crab rangoon flavored ice cream. Just saying. <laughs> crab rangoon flavored ice cream? So come on down to cream? Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. That sounds fucking nasty. Crab rangoon. Sunny and Angela Flavored Avalanche, ice cream? Explorers of the uncharted reaches of ice cream experience. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. We already went through the records, right? I just leave. Alright. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Dating app? That's, that's gotta be a hell of a job. Just sit there on your dating app. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. So she's 24, Haven Springs, Colorado. Uh, tagline. What would you like to add as your tagline? Um, a lyric. How about that? Baby, I'm a bad luck child. <laughs> about me. Music gamer, cat lover, impulsive traveler, gay disaster, aspiring DJ. Let's go with that Next, one. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. Uh, what kind of stuff do I want to name drop? What do your potential matches need to know about you? Music. And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. Uh, fine. <laughs> uh, okay, so about me. A disaster queer moved here on a whim to DJ at a radio station. Take me to a punk rock show or make me a mixtape of your favorite indie bands. Uh, just want to find a girl I can goof off with. Well, all right. I really don't want to read these. Oh man, look at this. They got it to where you can swipe left, swipe right, basically. Grace is 41, mother of two, exploring a different side of, uh, no. Okay, she's 24. This user hasn't entered a tagline yet. How mysterious. Okay, Bubbles. I've nicknamed a few people Bubbles before. Let's go, Bubbles. Oh, we got a match! We got a match! We got a match! Oh, shit! The feeling is mutual! Hell yeah! Let's message her! Um, message. Hell yeah, we making How the first do move? you introduce yourself to someone named Bubbles? Uh, you asked. Where did that name come from? Oh, we definitely don't ask where that Bubbles came from. That can't be a real name. So is Bubbles your given name? Hello, handsome. Whoa. Hold on. So is Bubbles your given name or do you have an extremely cool story involving a phone party and or champagne? Hello, handsome. What the fuck does that mean? This seems like some fucking, like a, uh, a, 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 like a fake page or something. The fuck? You're a bot, aren't you? There you go. Yeah, a fucking bot. Hello, handsome. How are you enjoying this weather? That motherfucker's a bot! <laughs> I can't believe I wasted my high-quality phone party and champagne joke on a bot. Um, yeah, that's kind of my favorite weather. <laughs> oh, shit! Can't be bot weather. I'm about to keep going with this. Totally. I love it when the sky is the color of a television tuned to a dead channel. 
Oh my gosh, that was a, a Neuromancer reference? You should read it. After the singularity, obviously. Don't you hate this app user not, username I found? You should give me your number so we can text. You won't regret it. <laughs> uh, you're not even a good bot. Holy shit, you're not even a good bot. Hello, scammer mission control. This one is broken. <laughs> Start over? Okay, spending an hour entertaining yourself by talking to a bot is cute. But spending two hours is cause for concern. Oh, are we starting over? Because I honestly feel like I nailed this conversation the first time. How are you enjoying this weather? <laughs> this is good. Why is this so good? Uh-uh, we about to keep going. Let's keep... Okay, here we go. 22. She lives in Haven Spring, Colorado. You miss every shot you don't take. Well, fuck it. Let's do it. Nay, hey, another match! So should probably break the ice. Let's see if she's a bot or not. You know we going with flirty. I could do this shit all day. Hey, beautiful. How's it going? Oh, God. Okay, you're going to think... I'm the world's biggest bitch. Uh, why? Uh, I guess it depends on what you say next. So I swipe right on accident. Uh, I'm gonna just laugh that one off. LOL. That's hilarious. Please tell me how that happened. Sign. I don't know. I keep checking my settings. It's supposed to show me dudes. Maybe I changed it without meaning to. What the f so why'd you swipe? <laughs> All right. So wait, we've established how I showed up in your feed, but why'd you swipe right on me? You're gonna think this is dumb. Try me. I have a thing about names. Like I don't even look at people's pics most of the time. I swipe based on whether or not I can imagine introducing a dude to my friends. So I was like, yeah, hey y'all, this is my boyfriend Steph, and it sounded good, and I didn't even check in. Ugh. Sorry for the confusion. That's dumb as hell. Oh. <laughs> You're right. That's pretty dumb. I told you. Anyway, you seem really cool. Sorry for the weirdness. Swipe carefully. Hey, maybe take a look at your profile pic and pronouns from now on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Greta? Sorry, Greta. Um, Kylie. Are you the one we're looking for? Let's go. Kylie's, oh, she got the little weed hat on, little pothead in the building. All right. Not a match. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. What's up, Winnie? Uh, Winnie? Want to get high and watch anime? Sure, why not? You're kidding. Sorry, there's no one else in your area right now. Try again later. Oh, well, that's effed up. Look at Steph's picture. Like, why she looks so mean in that? Like, seriously. All right, let's keep it moving. That was fun. That was really fun, actually. Probably work for me to do in the store as well. That was really fun. <laughs> I think there was a note for me on the front counter. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. <laughs> Music Analysis books. of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? <laughs> Whoa. Who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? I mean, cause boy, they are gangster. <sighs> oh, fuck oh that? man, I'm gonna puke. The hell peed on our rug. Guitar One day, painting. If you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. Yeah, 
This place definitely needs an update. What do y'all think, Dizzle Girl? A dog trio? Next stop, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. We really need to get some customers in here. I love Steph's story. Bulletin board! What's up here? Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? That's brilliant. When's the last time someone even used this? Hey, I used that in a regular story with Alex. Let's look outside. Hell yeah! Good old Hayman! Okay. I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. Ooh, what's the package? No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. Oh, we can open it. Let's open it. What's oh, cracking, Steph? Oh my old GM stuff. Holy shit. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look for everything. Let me see her note. Feel first. like I'd get along with this woman. Dear Mrs. Gingrich, welcome to my store. Lord knows we need the, we need a fresh face. My name is uh, Kasha uh, Sobeski, <laughs> and I'm an old bat in a nursing home in Colorado Springs. The record trade is very near to my heart. So anything you can do to improve the place, and I do mean anything, is greatly appreciated. Kind regards, Kasha, some ideas, better decor, better music, fixed vent covers in the back, been falling off for years. So, okay. if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. Go for it, girl. With that. It's your world. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. What the hell, man? So they gonna have me working on my whole, like, what, what are we doing here? Is there gonna be drama or what? I guess I, I guess I've only been playing for about 10, 20 minutes, but whatever. <laughs> Check the current objective, uh, choose a campaign, put up a poster, update new releases section, check out the event, mm, complete radio show task. I thought I did that. Okay. Listen to your portable recorder. Oh, Kylie! Corn hunters. Hey, cutie. Parking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Let me see. Hey, cutie, we're excited to get to know you. Hold on, we're excited to get to know you. Sorry, who's we? Me and Brayden. One assumes Brayden is like a pet iguana. No, Brayden is my boyfriend. We're looking for a third. Did you read our profile? Oh. Um, I did not. I did, but but what? Let's see what she say. I mean, I did, but I must have missed that part. Well, interested. Why is it there an option to say yes? Like, what the hell, dude? I gotta ask, what's the appeal? I'm really not interested, but I gotta admit I'm curious. Does this, like, work for you? The whole unicorn hunting thing? What do you mean? I've never really sat down and talked to anyone who dates as a couple. What's the appeal? It's fun. It's a good way to make friends. Plus, I'm bi. And I really love Brayden, so it's a, it's a way for me to express that part of me without excluding my favorite person in the world. Not seeing it. Is it, it though? Yeah, I super don't get it. Your loss, I guess. That's what's up. No one's still in our area. Alright, so let's look at what this came out. Choose a campaign. Oh my god. This takes me back. 
So. I really don't care. Let's go Perfect City. Oh shit! Don't stop, I was enjoying that song. You it ready? It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, it. I am. Safe. Go for it. Hell yeah! What's next? Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. Who the hell is Mikey? Alright, so the drum set isn't in here yet. Sheet music? Not Kasha's favorite musical, I take it. Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. Nobody on the whole list. Ouch. What's this? The portable recorder? I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it sounds now. I could give it a listen. See if I still like it. Hell yeah! Let's see how this sounds. This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. Fuck no, let's get out of here. Okay, so what instrument should I play this thing on? Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a synth loop. Fuck was that still? Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. <laughs> What the fuck's there? If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. But I'm not doing that right now. Some drummers dream of sitting in with the Stones or the Who. I know who I'd rather play with. Who is that, Steph? Huh? Give me amp flow over these dudes any day. Did she just say give me amp flow over these dudes any day? They must suck so bad. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! Who did not just say that? <laughs> One of these might work. Oh fuck. That promising. That's funny. Cool. Shit. That's coming from inside the booth. My first call. Better go answer it. That's funny. Alright, let's go answer this call in the booth. Since we're supposed to answer it. You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? No. Sort of. Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? She's an asshole. Uh, no. <laughs> can I just give you my order, and you can just 
like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. <laughs> Alright, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Oh boy. Oh boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these four? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Ha! 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 Okay. Oh, gosh. Maybe she should tell I you something, bro. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not <laughs> picking up on. Yeah, you lost me there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, dude. Listen, I'm pretty <laughs> sure your girlfriend's breaking up with oh you. Oh my gosh! How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. <laughs> Thanks for calling KRCT. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, I'll check the phone. Mikey, what is this? Uh, ha, ha see that she would have been. What? Haha, ha, see that would have been a smart place to move to. No way. Well, if you ever want to tell me, I'm like, hey, 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 did you get the package I sent you? Hell yeah, let's play. Uh, dude, it's been way too long. I'm straight up hype about murdering Elamon again. LOL, classic Steph Gingrich. Who gives a fuck, Mikey? Get the fuck out of here. He got mad, bro. Your girlfriend about to leave you and she's sending you every hint in the world. You slacking, Brody. Alright, what's next? Uh, check out the vent, update the new releases, and complete the radio task. Alright, let's get this vent. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Yep, straight up. Oh. It just needs some screws. Oh my god! That animal's living in the walls. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. <laughs> Febreze! Febreze! <laughs> oh my gosh! She said Febreze. Oh fuck, let me see what she said. I don't now. even want to think about what that animal's done in there. She said for breeze. <laughs> she said for breeze. Oh fuck. Uh, we don't have new releases. <laughs> what do we have? For breeze. <laughs> she said fucking for breeze, man. 1790s, and I just click on 1790. Oh, this music about to be trash. Okay, Wolfgang, time for your comeback tour. <laughs> <laughs> who's calling now, man? I'm trying to. Oh my god. Alright, let's go see who's calling. <laughs> she said for breeze and a brew. <laughs> I can't get over that. For breeze and a brew. That's funny. KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. <laughs> what the shit? Let's go with that. <laughs> you know what? For the sake of filling some airtime? Sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Okay, oh my so my God. best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. 
I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Uh, not... Okay. Shit. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? Are we? What the fuck are we really doing this? She about to roll a dice. What am I going to tell this girl? She about to roll a dice for this hey, damn girl. Tifa. That's a strong roll. So, what's my prediction? I don't know what 18 means. Get a new best friend, damn it. Okay. Shit. I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. So, you and Tara had a good run. Oh, no. You said UC was your dream school, and dreams are about embracing the unknown. After just a few weeks, you develop an interest in... Improv comedy. <laughs> really? <laughs> sure. Oh, <laughs> the my kind of girl God. who calls into a radio show while her ex-boyfriend is still sobbing in the background definitely <laughs> understands oh comedy. Oh, my gosh. I am really good at talking fast without thinking. <laughs> and that's where you meet your new best friend. She connects with the new you, the one filled with passion and untapped potential. Weirdly, oh her name is also Tara. Then I don't have to switch my bracelet. What the fuck? All right. That's all I got. I uh, hope it helped. I'm not sure, but it was really fun. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> Gay! Yo, you're doing great. Give me a call towards the end of your shift for a debrief. Yeah, right. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. One of these days, you're going to have to let me in on your private definition of doing great. <laughs> Whatever. Just call me when you're done. Oh, let me see if anybody hit me up over here. Nope, nope. Banter. I'm gonna be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT. So get your ears ready for some fresh tunes and keep it here. I don't know what I'm doing. What did that say? This year's spring festival is right around the corner. So, uh, see Eleanor at the flower shop for volunteer opportunities. Okay. All right, what else? What the fuck is D20? I used to feel oh. like something was missing if I wasn't rolling this around in my hand. Uh, Rouse? Oh, we got to change the music? Good. Cause this shit trash. Trash, trash. This shit ain't no better, but fuck it. Oh, this shit trash too. The fuck? Oh hell no! This shit garbage. Boo boo doo doo. Stank it. Eventually, I'll need to get back in the booth. What we do? Oh, just call Gay. What's up? How do I call them? Oh, I gotta go to the phone and call them. <laughs> Good luck, flowers. I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers. I can Aww. see why Gabe loves her. Eleanor, sweet. Gabe, Fuck Eleanor. your girlfriend is too good for you, man. Steph, have fun at the new gig. Don't worry, these chocolates are safe for work. Best, Char. Charlotte! Back to the boot. Let's call Gabe. Look like we're done here. Oh, gay, baby, baby. That was a hell oh of a god, shift. Oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me? It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously. And I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right?
No! <laughs> Avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. Elevate your job prospects today. Yes! Rough first day, huh? Good save! Good fucking save right there! <laughs> Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation based and will not depend on artistic ability. Is she sweating? But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Okay. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. Well, it looks like she got a lot better. But well, she's sweating like a mug. It's too damn hot to be. What's it called? Talking. <laughs> Need some air conditioner in that biatch. I want to see if she go get this for Breeze at a brew, man. That was fucking funny, dude. For Breeze. <laughs> oh, man. For Breeze. Fuck is hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. The heat's no excuse. Better take this call. Alright, let me take the call first. <laughs> hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday, and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. As, as white. Should you talk to him about this, bro? Well, I don't know if a fake radio psychic is who you need to be talking to right now. No, you misunderstand. I don't want a reading. Anyway, he loves your show listens to it religiously and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf just so he knows I hear him and I love him I don't know man coming out is a big deal and when someone you love doesn't react well it can be devastating I didn't know what to do they don't prepare you for this in the parenting books Okay, but do you hear how you're talking about it? Like something bad happened? Having a queer kid isn't a tragedy. Your son is learning to embrace who he is and wants to share that with you. I bet that's one of the coolest things that can happen to a parent. <sighs> I hadn't thought of it like that. I guess I have a ways to go. Yeah, you do, Bastard. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Ooh, Great Feelings! Great right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. All right, let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you, I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. All right, we out of here, Steph. Let's go get this hey, feeling. Steph, your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. 
Would you like to expand your dating radius? Oh What's my gosh. We still own this dating shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is crazy. Gay uh what does gay want? It's not like one to one, it's tonal. It's about letting go of the things that you used to what? Who cares, man? What Ryan talking about? What sh fuck you, Charlotte. Fuck all three of y'all, Ryan. Hello, this is Ryan Lucan. Hello, this is Steph Gingrich. Ha ha. Well, now we have each other's number. I'm glad you're part of the gang. Nice to feel like I'm not third willing it with Gabe and Shaw. Or, or, we're both third willing it with Gabe and Shaw. Damn, if only there were a word <laughs> or another third wheel. Oh, wait, I didn't check my, uh... My dating app. Let's go, Gingrich. Time to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. Alright, man, what are we doing here? Alright, Violet. Gay punk, all other punk. What the hell? Let's just like. No, no match! Cat? This user has an end of a tagline. Fuck it, let's do it. Pickle. Butch comedy with bad hair. Fuck it, let's like. Uh, man, I don't know. Fuck it, let's just like. Fiona, I'll heal for you <laughs> if you tank, tank me later. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just talk to her. What you want, Fiona? Uh, we starting the hmm. combo. What kind of opener do I want to use? I don't know. Uh, digging the sword. Heads up, I fall for theater girls. A simple high. Heads up, I fall for theater girls. Just a FYI, I have a history for falling hard for theater girls. So you've got a lot of power coming into the exchange. Ha <laughs> ha! I try to use it responsibly. Will you though? LOL. Shot in the dark, but do you play TTRPGs? What the fuck are TTRPGs? I know what RPGs are. What is a TT? Uh, mostly fantasy? Shit. I used to be really into kingdoms and caverns, good old fashioned elf and wizard stuff, you know. It's a classic for a reason, bingo. But used to? It's been a minute since I've played. Oh, bummer. Think you'd ever get back into it? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. It was a huge part of my life for a long time, but I'm pretty swamped with other stuff these days. Besides, I don't even know anybody who who plays. Well, if all you need is a playmate, I volunteer that um I didn't mean like, oh, God. Shit, I didn't mean like in a sexy way. Uh, rip her a little? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, you didn't? You sure? Yes. <laughs> I mean, not that I don't think you're pretty. I do. I just mean, I wasn't trying to like, LOL, holy shit, you are flustered as fuck. I'm sorry. I was just messing with you. LOL, okay, yeah, OFC is cool. I don't know what OFC means! So, Haven Springs, kind of out in the boonies, huh? Population of, like, 1,100? How do you know more about Haven Springs than I do? LOS caught the internet. So, I used to have it in mind. I go down rabbit holes. Uh, how many open browser tabs? So, without checking, do you know if you ever had more than 10 open browser tabs? Oh, God, called out. It's probably more like 50. <laughs> Do you hate that? I know it's weird. Nope, weird is good. Uh, if anything, shh, quit fucking texting people. If in, uh, <laughs> if anything, not weird is a deal breaker for me. Oh, okay. Lucky me, that's not even the full extent of my weird. <laughs> this shit funny. Um, okay, so back to Haven Springs. Have you thought about maybe moving to Denver? No offense. Dude, I was gonna. But... 
she she really did lose a bet. I'm like, I gotta say it. I gotta say it. I lost a bet because she was about to leave. Uh, would you believe I lost a bet? LOL, what? No joke. I lost a bet with my buddy Gabe, so I stay. I literally don't know how to respond to that, LOL. You should at least come visit. You think? Actually, Denver isn't perfect, but I think you'll have a good time, and I'd be excited to meet you. <laughs> should I say no thanks? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, fuck it. Bring your ass to Haven. Shit. Or, hear me out, you could come visit Haven. It's not as bad as you think. We've got a record store and a dope little bar and an indie movie theater. And the people are rad. That sounds kind of fun, actually. Oh, shit, except I'm sort of in this play right now. We open this weekend and run for the next three weeks. So I'm going to be kind of busy for a while. Hey, that's sick. Break a leg. Hey, he he. Well, he he. Thank you. Well, fuck it. I'll come to Denver. Okay. Well, if you're, if the only way I get to hang out with you is to come to Denver, guess I'm going to Denver. Really? You don't mind? Nah. It'd be good times. Wow. I'm so excited. Well, all right, Fiona. I guess we rocked that. Oh, Violet messes me and Cal. What does Violet want? Pop quiz, best video, Nazis album, go. I don't fucking know. Uh, this is going to sound super pretentious, but they recorded a 7-inch back before they signed to Coffin Lid. And whatever, that shit rips. Lies and bad intentions? Nah, but good pull. It's got a super dumb name. Don't shoot the messenger. The monster is kind of also named Frankenstein, if you think about it. <coughs> Super dumb name, but accurate. Um, I don't want to talk to you right now. Let's see. Callie. Uh, just here to get to know people and make new friends. Oh, this motherfucker got a snake. Uh, I've been told I smell like a new book. What the fuck? Let's keep swiping. KC! Bike trash for bike trash. Hit me up if you ride. <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. Sorry, gotta go. Okay. Kobe is Do who I want to kick things off or leave it to them? Nah, I'm already starting stuff off. Leave it to them. Oh, they're going to send right away. Nice to meet you, Steph. Do you want to get to know each other with a round of Mary Boink Kill? Not especially. What the fuck? I don't drink. I think those are drinks. I do not, but thanks for checking first, lol. Fair enough. That's about movies? I don't know how this shit works. In my experience, everybody has at least one movie they can never... Uh, they never get tired of watching. What's yours? You ever seen Bio Pister Godbuster? Nope. Never even heard of that shit. I haven't. It's an anime from 1992. The dub is awful and it's way too gory, but I saw it when I was maybe 13 and now I find it kind of comforting. Oh, crap. My phone's about to die. Uh, let's ask him out. Well, hey, before it does, you want to meet us sometime? Um, uh, maybe. I am swamped for the next month at least. Can I hit you up with things chill out? Forget about it. Stay your ass offline if you're going to be acting like, ah, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> uh, sure, NBD. I really don't know what NBD is, man. All right, it's too many of y'all, man. Uh, too many of y'all. Way too much. Let's go get this music. Whoa, look at this storage. Sweet. Why is there a mousetrap? Oh, I'm 
I'm just gonna pretend that all the mice moved out and went to Mouse College by now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have... Well, those drawings were meant to be a damn it past Dave. Here's a hint, Ghost Star Eye Ice Cream. Uh, we had to change the lock combo so Paz Dave wouldn't slosh Irish Irish cream all over the rare records. Here's a hit. Pass Ashley and Luke in St. Patrick's Day 09. You the fuck does that mean? Maybe I can guess the combination. There are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Uh, how about we not guess? How about we figure out what the fuck it is? Or right, let's break this bitch. That's not even close to enough stickers. What the fuck is this? I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts. I wonder if these are supposed to connect to something in the store. Maybe. Oh, good. I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. Oh, tambourine. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Better leave that here, or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. That must have been some party. Oh, wow. Cradle snack. I think my dad had their record. Kasha ran this place for a long time. Alright, let's figure out how to open this stupid thing. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. What the fuck? A dead foosball player? I'll catch up with you eventually, Jen. <clears throat> anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. Hell yeah, we gonna replay the game. You're getting better. I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall, Stephanie. Hey! Why is it so dark? And whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, oh, dude! I said not to think about it. Goo goo ga ga stuff. Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. Ha <laughs> Gabe Flip. is a fool. Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. Uh -huh. yeah. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. Yeah. My first victory on the board. I'm not gonna make a big deal. Don't wanna jinx it. Fuck that, we gotta win. Hell yeah! Alright, look like we did all the notes to Steph. Now we just gotta unlock the cage and complete the radio task. What we gotta do? I think we gotta do some ads. take a quick ad break kind haven listeners are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away then you must not be reading the rocky mountain gazette the rmg's reporters are so local that you yes you are eating lunch with one right now and you didn't even know it and as locals, these reporters see everything. They see that graffiti too, and they cover it. They see those potholes too, and they'll cover it. And that unsolicited dick pic you just sent? Yeah, they saw that too. If you want world-class fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard. The Rocky Mountain Gazette. 
Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. That's some scary stuff. I've seen grown men cry over less. Right? And I'm just a teenager, so I'm quaking in my combat boots. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I'm obviously not gonna I say I will it. consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Seventeen. You go, girl. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 seems optimistic. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing easy, flowing conversation and unencumbered laughter. It's all going well. So well, in fact, that your parents bring up marriage. That's a nightmare. Literally, I had nightmares about that. <laughs> you managed to survive the dinner, and all told, everyone seems happy. In fact, once you're alone, your girlfriend shows you exactly how good a time she had. <laughs> God, okay. Well, I'm feeling a lot less nervous about this now. Thanks, Steph. You're you bet. Welcome. Good luck and thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it the Dateless Dating Advisor. Uh... KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer. So visit the Lantern and escape the heat with air conditioning. And if you sit in the right spot, you can even hear Jed grumble to himself about the electric bill. And if that's not enough to get you in the door, the upcoming bar crawl will. How do you do a bar crawl when there's only one bar in town? You'll have to show up to find out. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. And now, a message from our sponsors. Your friends at Avalanche Ice Cream would like... Wait. What is that? What is that? What's what? Stay with me here, guys. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. Oh. I think a UFO just landed outside the record store. Okay. There's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait. What's this? The aliens are lactose intolerant. They're stumbling away from Avalanche, crop dusting as they go. It smells like vanilla. The aliens are getting back on their ship. They're taking off. <laughs> Woo! That was tense. I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? Bro. <laughs> You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? I like this song. Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. That's a bold claim. Are you ready to back it up? I gotta see I'm those receipts. So. Gotta see your receipts. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls. He even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. 
I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything, but it's just like strawberry B.O. Ugh, okay. I get the picture. So why are you calling? Right. So I've been planning to have like a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. Okay, give me a sec. Let's roll the dice. Let's roll the d20. 16's a strong roll. Home not feeling like home. That's a rough one. So can a house meeting really turn it around? 16 is a strong dice check. I have seen into the blurry future. And? So, you sit this guy down, and you talk it out. The noises, the smells, the vaping, and that's how you realize you have more in common than you thought. A strong bond is forged in late night YouTube binges. He introduces you to the wonderful world of Japanese snack food. You introduce him to the concept of taking out the trash. You two become inseparable. Yeah, but does he ever agree to clean his dishes? Hell yeah! Some compromises are made. The dirty dishes overstay their welcome. Vape pods fill the trash. But you come to realize that home isn't really about the dishes anyway. I guess I can deal with that. Well, all right. That's better than I expected. Thanks. <laughs> Sure, dude. More to op it of him sitting in a booth talking to myself about pride. Cut off from the outside world. I know it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. I finished the shift task, right? Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. Nah, uh, me and they not gonna let me, huh? Time for a traffic update. You live in Haven. There is no traffic. This has been your traffic update. <laughs> That's funny. Let's get out of here. That's <laughs> You live in Haven, there is no traffic. A population of 1,100 people. All right, let's get into this um, this safe. All right, bro, let's get up in here. Oh, it's gonna do it for us? I guess it ain't nothing for us to guess. So, something hidden in these is supposed I, to get me in there. I guess it is, so we gotta guess. I'll be figuring it out. So let's do this, son! Better get code cracking. Let's get code cracking. All right, here we go. We got the ghost first, the star next, the eye third, the cone last. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm. Those shades are undeniably star shaped. So there's four of those? Those look like ghosts to me. There's, there's two ghosts. I spy with my little eye. So five eyes. Five um eyes. Alright, so there's two ghosts, four stars, five eyes, and one cone. Let's Maybe pop this bad boy open. I don't know what I'm doing here. What's first? There were two ghosts. There was four stars. There were five eyes. There was one cone. Damn. That wasn't it. Hmm. Now, if 
That's not an ice cream cone. I've been very confused my whole life. So there's three cones on the ice cream. Let's pop this bad boy open. Damn! I can destroy more door and get on with my day. That's it. That's it. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. Hi, Grady. Feelings! We got it. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record. If anyone still cares. All right, make sure everything else is done. Yes, complete radio show. T Wait. Wait, maybe I didn't complete it. Or maybe this is completed. What's the sign? It took me way too long to notice this. Oh, well. That cat getting fed, damn it. Okay, that was a fake one. I am not reading these anymore. Okay, I'm done reading this shit. Things to do, pack up the pride decorations. Couldn't do it a day, naps. That's, hey, that was a lot to read. Alright. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. What box? Got you! I like the song though. This whole DLC has had good music. Love is blonde, but you are beautiful. This place looks great. You, 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 you're beautiful. You. Okay. Bye bye, son. Cheers. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah. One little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Love is love. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. <laughs> and spending way too much money. 
That's and that. meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Dang. Word. Can, we, can we run All that song right. back? Signs are dry. Let's go. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just That's having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. Maybe faking. <laughs> Come on. It's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. <laughs> Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go mess with her. That's no, funny. Don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Respect. Respect. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Friday, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever, literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Guess that's everything, but the flag on the front door. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. <laughs> I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14 year old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. Well, your girlfriend told me those things about you. Living in what the hell am I doing here? I come home from my nine to five. You ain't home, you got the bottle of wine. I'm gonna leave you now. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave you now. When the music's great. You know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. Damn. But first... <laughs>
But first, wow. another track. Why is she uh, declining Mikey's call? Okay, work mode, go. Work mode, go. <laughs> 